Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Untold Legends games for the Sony PSP. Untold Legends Brotherhood of the Blade is a dungeon crawler. I know you don't fight just in dungeons, but it's the same style of a dungeon crawler, so D don't attack me in the comments for calling it a dungeon crawler. The game is light on the story element and heavy on dungeon crawling. In fact, all you do in the game's 100 levels is to dungeon crawl. You can select from 4 classes and customize your character's hair. Yep, you can customize only the hairstyle, hair color and the skin tone. And after that, you're good to go. The game is a little unbalanced and it's annoying to see that it's worthless to buy items with gold since enemies drop stronger items than the ones you buy anyway. But if you are into dungeon crawling games, the game is still solid. It has many distinct locations and plenty of enemies, though even if the game takes you around 3 hours to beat, it can get pretty repetitive. But if you're into dungeon crawlers, then the game is still solid, even if you don't really get a story. You get one, but it's very lightweight. And the game is unbalanced and short and compared to bigger versions like a PC game or a, even a PS2 game, it's very light on content, this one on the PSP. But for that time, it was a big deal to have something like this on your PSP. Oh and also, the game has ad hoc multiplayer. You can play alone, then a friend can get by and help you with some levels, you can play them together and after he leaves you can continue alone from where you and your friend left off. Which is a, is a cool feature. Untold Legends Warriors Code is again a dungeon crawler. This time the game brings some notable improvements. The game has more story. Now you don't get just some opening and ending texts and some texts in between like in the other one, but rather you get rendered cutscenes with voice acting and some really nice choreography. And the story element is all over the place and it's really nice. If you've noticed in my reviews, I have a knack for stories in video games. I know that the gameplay is the most important part, but still a good story hooks me in a game. And I can list even more differences between the two games. In Warrior's Code you can transform into a werewolf or whatever this stuff is. And in this form you deal slightly more damage. Also the game has more varied mission objectives than the previous one. And another plus in Warrior's Code is that now you get 5 character classes instead of 4. And another major improvement is the fast travel feature which you can guess how useful it is. And the maps are bigger than in the previous game. And the game has online multiplayer, not only ad hoc, you get online multiplayer. Where you can go on slugfests or beast killing missions or capture the flag. Overall, Warrior's Code is a big improvement over the other one. It has more story, bigger maps, more depth in gameplay, online multiplayer, the game is a beast on the PSP. It's amazing what games the PSP has in its library. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.